Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a serious issue and I wanted to um, speak up about it because although I know it can be a very controversial issue, I wanted to address it because I felt it was important. So here we go. Ali, who is a famous writer for TCGplayer.com, I believe that's what he writes for, he was at Star City Games Tournament and something happened. He posted on August 25th uh, that he had sexually harassed a woman he didn't know by jokingly asking her if he could cop a field and this happened during the Star City Games tournament. Now it's totally inappropriate, totally unacceptable, but it does happen sometimes even at my local game store where people will make a joke and I put you know quotes around the joke and it just doesn't come off or it does it never comes off correct it's never going to come off as a joke it will only come off as offending offensive and that's the way it is um and that's you know not acceptable and on in any not acceptable to ask to cop a feel for any female magic player ever I'm sorry, he says, goes on and he apologizes. I'm sorry because what I did wasn't just hurtful to trans women. Um, and we're going to see the response from the Amanda, uh, like the woman I harassed, but to all women, we need to focus on creating inclusive, safe spaces for all players, judges, fans of the games, but especially for those who are marginalized. I mean, we play a game which when I played it, it might be different now, but when I played it in high school, the gym teacher would make fun of you for playing the game. Right. And he would be and that's, you know, my personal experience with it. So we should be more accepting. Um, it's not really a debate we need to have completely unacceptable. Here is the response from Amanda, the person who was, um, you know, pretty much assaulted, verbally assaulted. Uh, recently, Ali posted an apology of sorts. At Star City Games in Syracuse on August 13th, Ali walked up to me and while I was playing ED8, asked if he could cop a feel. Way, I mean, it's just like this behavior uh, is not just Ali. Um, I've seen it at FNM, I've seen it at GP Houston, and you know, I'm pretty sure the person saying it is means it as a joke, but it comes off not as a joke at all. And I don't see any scenario where it could come off as a joke, especially to a stranger. So while she's playing um, a guy, so he does work for TCG player, wearing a TCG player shirt, walks up and says, hey, can I cop a feel? Branding issues aside that he's wearing TCG player, his uh, t-shirt, he's at a Star City game, just not acceptable at all uh, to tell a stranger that um, you know, and especially, you know, as he mentioned, the more, it's just a very, very bad situation. I do believe his apology is sincere, um, but it's an, it's a point where we can talk about it. We can have a discussion. We can open it up because I don't think Ali is alone. I think some parts of Magic, some parts of FNM, some parts of pre-release, uh, it's, people make these comments and they are very offensive and unacceptable but in their mind somehow it's you know just the norm it's it's normal for them uh normally we wouldn't see something this like this pop up but because ali is you know a very famous writer for tcg player and it was at Star city game uh inventational um you know it we can talk about it. It's worth talking about because I think at the end of the day, uh, when we can address these issues, um, we can help build a better community for everybody involved. Anyway, bye guys.